In the previous video, I forgot to mention that when selecting a socket uh, to press the bearing into the big end of the connecting rod, it's important not only that the socket rests only on the outer race, but also that the socket is small enough to go inside the bore of the big end, because you can see that it actually has to protrude past this edge. Uh, the next step in the process is going to be installing the piston onto the shaft and for that I will first of all freeze this assembly, uh, the, the entire motor, and put it in the uh, freezer for at least a couple of hours, just put it in a bag and put it in a freezer and then I'm going to heat the connecting rod in the rod oven like I showed in the previous video. This is the rod oven right here. I'm just going to use masking tape to support the piston like this and it's really important that when you're heating the piston you don't exceed 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius because you're likely to damage the bearing uh, if you do that. Once these two steps are accomplished the easiest way to get the piston onto the shaft is to pound the bearing on onto the shaft here but you have to be careful of a couple of things. First of all their bearings inside there. So what you need to do is you need to support this end of the shaft on a uh, surface like this. And then note the orientation. The piston is going to go in this way. And then you select a socket that is just big enough to go over the inner race now, and then you pound the bearing on. So this way you won't damage the bearing and you won't damage the bearings inside the motor. Note the orientation, the reed is pointing out. Another thing that's important is that the socket decides not only that it just contacts the inner race of the bearing, but also that it can receive the end of the shaft because it's gonna, actually the shaft is gonna have to go into the socket just a little bit. The counterweight has to be oriented such that it's pointing in the opposite direction from the piston. And the way to do that is to use, at least that's how I'm gonna do it, I'm going to use this uh, hex socket bit that fits into the set screw. And you can see I have a little bit of masking tape here. And what you can just do is uh, put a bunch of turns of masking tape until the diameter of the masking tape is exactly the same as the diameter of this hole. I somehow started with the sleeve, so there's no need to do what I'm doing here. You can just, like I said, use a bunch of turns of masking tape, but essentially, since I started with this, that's what I've kind of ended up with is, is this situation here. And you can see that the socket now is retaining the shaft in the right orientation uh, for me to press the bearing on just like so.